capital city of the United States, Washington, D.C. And just a mile or so away from the president's home, the White House, the white ice on the home rink of the Washington Capitals. Hi, everyone. He's Eddie Olchek. Ray Ferraro will be coming along in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich. And here we are again. It's back-to-back -back games, and so there hasn't been much time to rest. As a coach, how do you manage everything? Well, it's very important that you use all four lines. You use your complement of six defensemen. I think it's also up to the players as well, Doc. To have short shifts, you can't get caught out there for a minute and a half or two minutes. you got to make sure you have discipline in your game, but that'll be a real key in the outcome of this game. Colorado's a veteran club. They have been in these situations before many a times. There are no excuses. Everybody's got back-to-backs on their schedule. These second games and back-to-backs are difficult, but you've got to gut it out and find a way to win this game. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Holt beats the starter tonight as the season rolls on so many hours with the goalie coach, and it's worked for him and for the Capitals. He's the starting goaltender tonight. Some nights go better than others, but most of his nights are superb for the Avalanche. We have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. Backstrom's the faceoff man for the Capitals. Duchesne's ready to draw for Colorado. Just underway with Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, I'm Mike Emery. The Avs dropped a game they would have liked to have won. They need to refocus and get back to the bases. Face off win here. Turn the shot on net. Ah, that's a good bad save. The Capitals carrying it on in neutral ice. Puck collected by Barry. Nicely into the zone. He's in. No. Gotta get it on net. Shooter seemed to have almost too much speed on his breakaway. Slid to Backstrom. And he missed the net. Drill. Great save. You got to battle through a screen play. That's a shot that ricocheted out of play. I think it went off the goaltender. A little under five minutes played here in the first. It is tied at Cobb. The Avs with a clean win on the draw. Puck loose. Couldn't get through. Snapping a pass to Duchesne. With a shot. They can't find the target. Wonderful chance was set up and the pass just goes wide. Save. And he holds on. Hope he's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. The Capitals with a face-off win. Out of their own end, skating with it now. Great shooting lane. Picks it up back there. Trying to go to Landeskog. Cleared down the ice from the defensive side of the center red line. And let's check our rule books. Yes, it's icy. The Capitals get the draw. That's terrific work with the pad. Trying for it. Pop loose. Strong defensive play by Williams. On to Polak. Propelled to Landeskog. Snapped off a wrist shot. Peekles in his own end, headed towards center. Sends to the point. Jabbed away by Landeskog. Laid on to Polak. Puck loose now picked up. This scrum will end soon. Directing that one to Beagle. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Gathered up again by Beagle. Chip to Landeskog. Flings it. Shot not too strong. Pad stop. Freezes play. Washington's been blocking shots over the last few games at a crazy rate. 
their players lie down to block shots. They get into the shooting lanes to block them standing up. This is something they work on pretty consistently at practice. Good clean win. Let's it go. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. Score! They struck back fast, didn't they? Landis Cox's quick wrist shot surprised the goaltender in close. Hope he's down in the butterfly position a little quick. He opens up the top of the net and gets beaten up over the stick side shoulder. Colorado's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Pitching this one to Eller. Intercepted pass. Colorado's forced another turnover in this very close game. Slid to Landeskog. Great pad stop. Puck now possessed by Gabriel Landeskog. Good stick down on the ice, so nothing good happening there. Pitching it to Orpik. Got his pad on that one. Skates it across the blue line. Big shot lasered off his head. I can't imagine goaltenders never wearing this. With a shot. Save. And he'll hold on. One minute left in the first period. 20 minutes have been played. Both teams had some success. Colorado's got the narrowest lead you can have. A look at the shots on goal. They're pretty overwhelming. A huge 18 for the Avalanche and six for the Capitals. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? Washington's team is still in this game, Doc. They're down by one goal, but easily could be a lot more. You hear the term now, puck management. They did not manage the puck at all in that first period. Finessed to Duchesne. That pass tipped away by the opposition. Good work with the stick. Pass attempt to Ovechkin. Slides it to the point to Baxter. Shoots. Got it all. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. It's an onside play. He can start some danger here. Let's it go. Turned away. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Well, that even sounded hard the way that he shot the puck, but the goalie makes the stop on that effort. Good job on the draw. Oh, what a great keep. And the puck is grabbed by Olsman. Good, good shot, but a better save. A cover, and play is stopped. are moving the puck in their own end. Bolshevan's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. That play is offside. No team worth it. And there was a shot. Boy, that strikes me as odd. Boy, he must be late for his alarm clock, because that's how late it was. and they're going to add all this up. Pretty even fight early, but it's just too strong. The Capitals players are screaming from their benches. Their guys won the fight. The crowd is so pumped right now.
little over four minutes to go. The Avs have scored three of the four goals. Into the end of attack. Hammers one. Solid glove save. And he freezes for the whistle. Beat him on that one. Great stick save. Back near the blue line, Dorlaw. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Puck is thrown to Polov. And offside is called on the play. Washington's got that neutral zone faceoff. Looking to Johansson. On to Kuznetsov. They battle on up the wing. And play stopped because of an offside. have been played here and still more to go a well-deserved rest is at hand time to look at the heavy totals for the shots on goal 25 for Colorado and 17 for the Capitals hey fans we'd like to draw your attention to the far part of the arena where we're welcoming all of our minor hockey kids here in attendance tonight two periods played one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Washington's still alive, Doc, after 40 minutes of play. They're down, but not out. They need to clean up their own defensive zone and then look to get a lucky bounce to get back in this game. Shoot. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. They needed that save, but more importantly, the whistle to stop play. Sometimes you got to be in good position just to make the stop, but you also got to be lucky. This puck changes direction and ends up hitting the goaltender more than he stops it. Backstrom's lost another, and so has his team. Takes his pass from the goalie, moving it to Duchesne. And now it's directed to Landeskog. Tries to get it on net. And the puck now possessed by Landeskog. That hit somebody. Collected by Gabriel Landeskog. Taken on by Alsner. The Capitals lug that along in the defensive zone. In all alone. Oh, what a stop. Brought a hit towards center. And he dumps it in. Possession gained by Ovechkin. Up the wing and still with it. Taken away. Skill play. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Passing one off now to Oshie. Looks over his options from the corner. Turned aside. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Puck loose. Good defensive play. Great job on a cut pass. The Avs force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. That is defense. Propelled. Cut his glove on it. Snapping a pass to Backstrom. That puck is loose. A good defensive play. Carried to the corner by Backstrom. A shot. Score! And this one is tied! The element of surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. And so this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. The Capitals have tied the score here in the third period. What a bumpy ride to the finish we're going to have. And maybe overtime. Colorado's got it and moving up the wing. 
Duchesne's got to try to simplify his game there. Just too much stick handling. And he steps across the line. Hammered. Oh, a save there. Great stick there. Puck free. Possession established on the pickup by Olsman. Trying to go to Burakovsky. The Capitals love the puck in the defensive zone. Laid on to Duchesne. Nicely into the zone. Oh, he'll pay for that. And we get a penalty. Referee to the table, a player to the box. The Avs get a minor penalty for roughing. More times than not on a roughing call, the referees are looking for the follow-through. And anytime you get your hands up above the shoulder or around the head area, that's what's going to get the two-minute penalty. Colorado penalty to number 24. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 13 minutes, 47 seconds. Washington's power play unit has not been strong tonight, but they've got one at a critical time, and it's right now. Pointed to Alsner. Chip to Polak. He's in on an onside play. Slot shot. That shot came from right in front. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Seeks the corner. Fires. Paddle to side. He covers, and a faceoff will follow. Centermen practice this so many times at the end of their game day workouts. And here comes the biggest one, perhaps, of the whole season. And they are in. On the outside, a shot. Good quick poke check there. And that's the end of the game. It was a great time. Colorado's been able to win this one. But they didn't do it in the normal way. When you think of specialty team goals, you think of the power play. Not when you're shorthanded. And they got some tonight. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.